or by putting on a spectacular show, let's face it, in front of the entire American nation from coast to coast, the first time that he's been so featured in his professional career. Lennox Lewis becoming an increasingly uh, popular name in the United States. He's starting to get some reaction here, and if he can put in a spectacular show against Tyrell Biggs tonight, well, they're going to know him even better. Lewis then in the red trunks, the British and European champion, and getting to work straight away and moving into gear, and Biggs having to uh, get off those ropes. That's the kind of start, of course, that Lennox made against Glenn McCrory. Walked straight through Glenn in that fight at the Royal Albert Hall last outing. Biggs, though, is a pretty cagey customer. Tends to be the kind of hit-and-run merchant, and I think Lennox Lewis's tactics here will be to cut off the corners, trap him. Yeah, well, this is the sort of start Lewis is making, makes these days because he is so supremely confident in his own ability. Magnificent physique, of course, of Lennox Lewis, six feet five inches tall and a rock-solid 16 and a half stone, just under that. And that's a good right from Lewis. <laughs> Already a slightly troubled, bemused look on Biggs's face, but he does tend to fight like that. He always one of those uh, fighters who always looks as if he's in pain to me, Biggs. Well, the last few fights he's had, he has been. Already Lennox Lewis getting through with some good punches, including that trademark left jab of his, which is a stiff one. And a nice right there over the top of Biggs's guard into his forehead. Biggs getting in with a little right of his own there. I must say, it would be interesting at some point to see Lennox Lewis under some kind of real pressure, see how he coped with that, of course, an important part of uh, the fighter's makeup. Well, let's hope we don't see it this evening. A few signs of that so far, all Lennox Lewis in this opening round. I think Biggs is feeling the weight even of that jab of Lennox Lewis's winched a couple of times as that landed well of course that is Lennox's best punch by a long way that, that left jab and he's starting to double them up as he uh, as he progresses through his career. That's a good left from Lennox Lewis, thrown with good hand speed, and then a right crash through as well to the head. Then another one. Biggs is in some trouble here. Opening round. And this has been a confident start from the British and European heavyweight champion. And then another right. Oh, and that's a big right too. And Biggs had to absorb that as well. Again, he grimaces, holds on, wants to buy a second or two. Big round for Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis. His trainer John Davenport has been working on loosening him up and uh, giving him better upper body movement. Felt he was just a little bit straight up and he said too European in his style. Wanted to make him a little bit more American-like in his, uh, his moves. Yes, and also while he's been up at Carson City, he is working on strength weight training to build up strength and muscle. Frank Maloney, the manager of Lennox Lewis, is sitting right beside me here at ringside watching this. Uh, you must be pretty pleased so far, Frank. Yeah, it's a very good confident start by Lennox, Dan. He's dominating the fight with his left jab, what we've worked on for the last 10 weeks. Was this the game plan, what we're watching here, to dominate it like this from the first bell, take charge, be right in control? 
Uh, Lennox wants to impress obviously the American audience and wants to do a much better job than Riddick Bowe done. And he's been waiting seven years for, to get revenge on Biggs. So he's, he's really heated up for this fight. Thanks, Frank. We'll get to Frank's views as this progresses, if it progresses too much further. Biggs is always relying on that jab of his, but his jab is not enough to keep Lewis away from him, although uh, Lewis hasn't been quite as fluent in this second round as he was in the first. Now, and of course, what is also significant, although uh, Lewis has hit him some very good shots to the head, Biggs' legs have always been strong, and he hasn't buckled under the pressure or the punches. Good right from Lewis into the head of Biggs. Biggs was also a world amateur champion, apart from being an Olympic champion when he was an amateur. But we're talking about the early 80s, and this, of course, is the start of the 90s. Things have changed a lot. He's lost to Tyson, he's lost to Damiani, he's lost to Gary Mason, he's lost to Riddick Bowe. A career which is in dire need of several coats of paint, Biggs is. I think Biggs' face is beginning to mark up considerably now. Lewis in control here as we come towards the end of the second round in Atlanta. Also significant, and he's Biggs is blowing very hard at the moment. It's sad, really, that uh, Tyrell Biggs has now become an opponent, 30 years of age, but he is a name opponent, and it takes good boxers to beat him. Good head punches again, going through from Lewis, who's in almost arrogant control of things. He doesn't seem to be perturbed at all when Biggs just picks him off with a couple of jabs. Biggs has never been what you'd call a concussive hitter. No, and neither is Lewis, to be frank. But he just overwhelmed you with the number of punches that he lands. Although, tell that to Mike Weaver. Yeah, Mike Weaver's 40 years of age, be fair. One of the problems, or one of the little knocks against Lennox Lewis that the critics have had, is that sometimes he just tends to switch off in fights, loses concentration, and that too is something that uh, his camp have been working on to get him to focus 100% of the time. Yes, he's, he's only like that when he's uh, not motivated sufficiently. He's certainly motivated tonight, and Diggs is beginning to look in bad shape, facially. It's an impressive performance so far from Lennox Lewis. He's a class act. And he's right on the fringes of the title and right there to Biggs, has him over. And will Tyrell Biggs get up from this? That was a very good right hand punch. Biggs is thinking about whether he's going to get up here. He does get there. The count will go to eight. The referee, Frank Santor, takes a look and Biggs is in trouble, and there's another right, and down he goes again. Lewis thinks he's got this one, and I reckon he's right. There is a three knockdown rule in effect. If Biggs is knocked down once more in this round, this third round, that will be an automatic conclusion. The right hand thudding through from Lennox Lewis. Desperate moments here for Tyrell Biggs. Lewis is looking to finish it. Uppercut right. Biggs is all over. That is it. Finish. Third round. Lennox Lewis does the job five rounds quicker than Reddick Bowe did that. Great performance from Lennox Lewis. There's no taking it away from him tonight, even if it is against the slightly faded Tyrell Biggs. What did you think, Colin Hart? Well, you can't help but be impressed by that performance. Never mind about uh, whether Biggs is, you know, how far gone Biggs, you know, is these days. He did a job on him. He, he did everything he had to do, and he's impressed the crowd here. I'm sure he's impressed the millions of Americans. Now, let's about the fact whether he was 
Oh, here you see one of the knockdowns. This is the second sure. one, the Colin. Second one. I think he went down there without really taking a solid shot. Mm. But do you still think, because I'm not sure I agree with you here, I think Lennox Lewis, not a one-punch knockout man, but I think he's a puncher. There is Lennox waiting to be interviewed. Important for him, too, to do these interviews uh, with the American public. The knockdown rule, the official time, two minutes. 47 seconds of the third round, the winner by TKO victory, still undefeated, Lennox. Ooh.